Good day, and welcome to another Blender Buzz tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a realistic ocean scene in Blender version 2.77. I'm going to open up a new scene in Blender, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on my screencast key so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to go ahead and press A to select everything, and X to delete the default scene. And I'm also going to go ahead and add a mesh, and we're going to add a plane. And I'm going to go ahead and add <coughs> an ocean modifier to this and you're going to see it's going to automatically make it larger like so and now what we're going to do <coughs> is over here where it says choppiness we're going to increase that to free about 2.9 and we're going to make the scale um, about 0.6 and we're going to play around with the smallness value and we're also going to um, Maybe play around with the choppiness a bit more. Scale. Something like that. And also going to play around with the resolution. Make that about 12. So maybe decrease the choppiness a little bit. Do something like that. So now we have our ocean here. And I'm also going to go ahead and increase, repeat it on the X and repeat it on the Y. And go to my top view and I'm going to move it to the um, left like so so if we go to our front view now we'll go up like this we see that we have this nice ocean now so I'm going to go to my front view in orthographic and I'm going to go ahead and add a camera and I'm going to go numpad 0 go into my camera or if it's selected and then G go up like so so I have the camera above the water and maybe pull it back a bit so and now I'm going to go to my top orthographic view and I'm going to with the camera selected I'm going to size it up and the reason I'm doing this is I can see if my camera is sort of outside of the boundary of um, this ocean so if this ocean was um, this corner was in here like that we'll see it um, we'll see to the bottom and we won't see the ocean and that'll look really fake so make sure that your um, camera when you size it up like that is um, within the ocean so now we know that this won't um, go with outside of the boundary so if we go to our camera view now we'll see we have a nice ocean so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go control B to box select and I'm going to be, and do it within the window of my camera so it'll only render within this window and we won't get all this noise on the outside so I'm also going to go ahead and and put this into cycles render <clears throat> and another thing that we need to do is um, now that we've uh, put it in cycles is I'm going to go to my material edit editor and press new and we're going to call this ocean and now we have a material applied to our ocean and we're also going to go ahead and go into our compositing and go into front orthographic view here we're going to add a lamp and we're going to add a sun. We're going to rotate it like so. We're going to go here and we're going to give that a strength of about three. And now, if we render, we'll have a nice, neat little render. And I'm also going to go ahead and just enable my GPU. And if you don't have a GPU, CPU will work fine, don't worry. And I'm going to make the resolution 1280 by um, 720. And these are the standard um, movie movie. Um, frame resolutions they use nowadays is 1280 by 720 and we're going to increase it to a hundred percent and um, in the sampling I'm just going to leave my, my preview I'm going to make my preview um, 40 and I'm also going to go ahead in my light paths and I'm going to set the filter glossy to 6 and that's going to make things a little bit faster and it'll also reduce noise and that is about it for now so I'm just going to close these so now that we have that um, all set up, I'm going to select the material. I'm going to go to here where my material editor is. And here we can see is the material we created earlier called Ocean. And we're not going to need the diffuse. I'm going to delete that. And we're going to add a shader. We're going to add a glass shader. Plug it into the surface. And I'm also going to go ahead and um, add a mix. Put it in between the glass and the output. And we're also going to add a transparent and plug it into the bottom socket like so. Now, 
it's actually making water but we can't really um, see the water because water reflects the atmosphere around it and because our global settings are now gray um, it's going to reflect gray so what we need to do is we need to add add a hdri environment and this is really easy to do so we're going to go to our world settings up here we're going to go add nodes and over here where it says color we're going to go and add an environment texture then i'm going to go open and i'm going to go to my desktop and i'll show you the texture i'm using i'm using this one here um, that i that it's one of my own personal textures that i have um, here's what it looks like now if you want one of these all you have to simply do is go on google or go online and type in hdri um, for example i'll just do hdri by itself and here you can see this is a hdri it's pretty much um, an image that can be wrapped around in um, a 3d software to make it look like um, an environment so they usually look something like this they'll look kind of stretched but once they're in the um, in the software it'll it'll look really nice so um, just find yourself one of those the one i used um if i go back here it's one that's kind of blacked out on the bottom here you can see some example ones um this one here i think is one you'd have to pay for but um if you just look around online you'll find one and um once you have that one that looks a hdr like this we're gonna um, put it in and once you render it now you're gonna see you have a hdr image so now we have clouds in the background and we can also see our water because we now have an atmosphere that it can reflect now i want to edit the position of this hdri so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click here on this little earth and here we can see is our hdri so i'm going to go search i'm going to do a mapping node and I'm going to plug it into the vector and I'm also going to search and I'm going to get a geometry node and we're going to um, actually I just need to it's not geometry node I'm looking for I think you need to plug the position yep like that plug the position into there and now when we um, play around with the Z value here it's going to rotate our um, HDRI image. So if I go here, and I'm going to just going to get a scene that I like, and I kind of like this one right here. And now I'm going to go back to my um, material. So I'm going to click in the little box, select my ocean. So if I go back to my nodes here, now I can play around with these values here. So I'm going to make the water slightly bluish, like so. And this bottom one, I'm going to make a really light kind of grayish green like that and now we pretty much have our material for ocean and we also have our hdri image and i'm going to go to my world settings here quickly and here you can see the strength is one we're going to make that 1.2 like so and we're almost done with this so one more thing i'm going to do is i'm going to select my camera and we're going to set up a mist effect so i'm going to go to my camera settings here and we're going to go ahead and here where it says mist and display we're going to enable mist we're going to go to our um, scenes here and go to our passes and we're going to enable the mist over here and now when we go to our world settings and we'll see here this um, option called mist pass and you'll see here when i edit edit these values i have this little thing here on my camera this little line and this is where our mist is going to be so i want this front one to be about there so I'll make it about 0.30 um, and 30, and I'll make the end one, the depth, about um, 72 or 73, like that. And now when we go ahead and render this, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly render this. And um, depending on how powerful your computer is, this might be quickly, uh, happen quickly or it might take a while. So. Um, I'm just gonna wait for this to finish rendering. Okay, now that our image is done rendering, I'm gonna um, go to my um, node editor and I go to my scene um, render here. I'm gonna go use nodes and we're gonna also do enable backdrop. So what I do now is I'll go um, shift A, search, and we're gonna add a viewer node. And I'm gonna take the image, plug it into the um, viewer node there and if I press V I can zoom out here and see my image 
And now we're going to do some compositing to make our image look nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a mix node. We're going to take the color of the image. We're going to plug it in here. We're going to take the mist and plug it into the factor. And now we're going to take this image and plug it into these two right here. And when I combined these, all I did is I held in shift and clicked and I dragged like that and it made um, it binded those two together. So that's how I did that. So I'm just going to plug it into these two. And what I'm also going to go do is I'm going to get a map value. So map value. We're going to put it in between the mist and the mix node. And now we're going to um, play around with the factor. So um, if I make um, if I make this bottom color something like, for example, say if I make it that color, now we're going to play around with these values. The size maybe as well. Uh, maybe put it in the bottom socket. Put it into the top socket. Um, maybe make this a value. Now, one of the things that's tricky about this is that um, it's never the same per scene that you do. So um, the settings I'm using here are not necessarily um, the values that are going to work for you. So kind of play around with this until you get um, what you're looking for. So I think. Okay. So one thing we might have to do is go back to our default scene and select our camera. And I'm going to go ahead and make the, in my world settings, go to my mist passes. And I'm going to increase the size on the start and increase the depth as well. So something like that. So if I go ahead quickly now and render it, go to my compositor. And I'm just going to quickly wait for this to render. cool now we have it it's done rendering so if I go ahead and I play around with these values now um, let's go I think what I need to do is turn this one around so if I play around with these values now hmm yeah it's one of those tricky things you kind of have to play around with these values and go something like that Okay, so when I was done with it all, these are the values I ended up with. Um, I had minus 0.4 and minus 0.1. Now, um, these values really will vary. It's very arbitrary. Um, so if you get, you might have it all blacked out or really white. So you really have to play around with these values. And for my color, I just made it this kind of light bluish, pinkish um, and purplish kind of color, like so. And um, now I have a mist effect in the background. So it's, it, um, as it's, the mist is kind of falling off into the background. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add um, a lens distortion node. This one here. And I put it between the mix here and the compositing in the viewer. And we're going to go ahead and make the distort 0 0.05, like so. So it gives it a camera distortion effect. And we're going to make this 0 0.07 on this one here. And we're going to um, tick fit like so and we're also going to enable jitter and it's going to give it this camera like effect to make it look like it was taken with a camera and that's pretty much it now we have our finished scene right here that you can um, make and um, yeah use it um, thank you for watching please like and subscribe and